Hi, I want to welcome everyone again today to another short video of Creo. Today we're going to look at two Creo apps, one Creo Parametric and also Creo Simulate, in this case Creo Simulate Lite. Um, so we're going to use the 777 race car model again as the basis for our demo. So we're starting out in Creo Parametric and we're going to actually want to analyze part of the rear suspension for basically a static analysis stress test basically pushing force or creating a twisting motion. So the part in question that we need to analyze is this gray bracket in the back, again, part of the rear suspension controlling, in this case, sway or drag as the actual car goes around the racetrack. So right now, currently, we're in Creo Parametric. Um, we have the ribbon across the top, characteristic of all the commands, functions inside of Creo. We also have an Applications tab, and the Applications tab will allow me to switch to any of the other Creo apps in this case. Uh, now right now, I just immediately went into Creo Simulate. Uh, almost unrecognizable, almost uh, didn't even notice I changed. And what you'll notice is basically Creo Simulate is using the same Microsoft interface, the same ribbon approach, the same layout approach. Uh, other than the icons changing, everything else looks the same. So I'm actually running Simulate inside of Creo Parametric. Now for this model or for this example here, I'm going to activate Creo Simulate Lite uh, in this case. And what it's going to do is prompt me to go through a series of steps asking me to assign materials in this case, which I've already gone through and assigned, but will reassign in this case maybe aluminum. It'll ask me to assign constraints. In this, in this case, where am I going to actually uh, create a displacement? on the actual, uh, in this case, part itself. We're going to say it's going to be pinned in the lower right corner, in this case. And now, where do I want to apply a load? The twisting effect, or the force effect, the push or the pull. And I'm going to go with the opposite end, in the uh, upper left, and we're going to create a negative force in the z-axis. Always preview your forces, and you'll see a preview in the direction of the force being applied, pushed, or pulled, in this case. And then what we'll do is analyze. So I'm going to run the quick analysis. I'll get feedback in the upper right telling me whether or not these elements have passed or have failed uh, the analysis itself. And then finally, I'm going to view the results. And it'll display various results on your screen depending on the settings that you currently have. So I have a stress test on the left, I have displacement in the middle, and a maximum principal dis uh, displacement on the right. But again, a lot of these can change. The actual schematic can change. The colors can change, uh, but this again is just a quick analysis uh, of a static test in this case, uh, pushing and pulling um, from one location to another location within this. And again, everything was done uh, relatively quickly, relatively seamlessly inside of Creo Simulate, also inside of Creo Parametric. Uh, so very, very intuitive, very, very uh, intelligent. The interoperability between the apps, in this case Creo Parametric and Creo Simulate, uh, are, ver are very seamless. Again, putting tools in your hands to create 3D models, 3D geometry, uh, assisting with uh, your basic engineering activities. Creo Parametric and Creo Simulate. Thanks.